Hi, I'm going to show you how to make these little bookmarks here or the beady beads that go on the end of the bookmarks. They're both made quite similarly uh, with a slight variation. So I'm, going, so I'm going to show you how to do both of them. Okay, I'm using some six pound fire line and I'm using uh, a size 10 or a size 12 beading needle, whichever one you happen to have. It's probably slightly easier if you use a size 12 because we're going to be using size 15 seed beads but if you don't have a 12 a 10 should work fine as well okay I'm also using uh, size uh, 8 eight o seed beads size 11 o seed beads size 15 o seed beads uh, I've got a Swarovski crystal drop and I've got a bookmark here which has got a nice little hole where you can attach a bead or something that you want to dangle off of it okay so if you have a look at these little beady beads You'll see, I'm going to concentrate on this one here. You'll see that it's basically a tube of peyote stitching going in this direction. Tubular peyote stitching, starting with the smallest beads, the 15s, and then up to the 11s, then up to the 8s, then back to the 11s and the 15s again. Now, the reason I'm telling you that is because I'm not going to make it in that order because to start peyote stitching with a size 15 bead is very difficult. So I'm going to start with the size 8 toes in the middle. So I've taken my thread and I've put on a stopper bead. I'm using about 4 feet of thread here. Uh, but I've put the stopper bead in the middle of my thread, not at the end as you normally would. So I have a nice long tail afterwards. Uh, and I've got my stopper bead in the middle of my thread. Okay. This is where I'm going to start doing the peyote stitching. So for the peyote stitching, I'm going to start by picking up 16 of my 8 o seed beads. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I'm going to bring them down to my stopper bead. And then I'm going to go through the first bead that I've picked up here to bring them all together into a circle okay like so right now I'm going to start with the peyote stitching which just means I'm going to pick up one of the eight toes I'm going to jump over the next bead in my circle and I'm going to go through the third bead that one there so I'm skipping one I'm going over then into the next one okay so now my new bead is sitting next to the second bead that I jumped over. Now picking up one again, skipping over the next bead, going into the one after that. Okay. Next one again, into the bead after that. Okay, you carry on like that until you get all the way around. Now at the moment, it's looking a bit strange because it kind of looks all flat. But don't worry about that when you get a few rows in by the next row basically it'll start coming together into a tube and it won't look so flat anymore so just make sure you pull your thread nice and tight so it's all sitting nice and snug okay next one next one Okay, now I'm going to pick up the last one. Just get your stopper bead out of the way. Make sure you don't go through that. So for the last one, I'm jumping over this bead here and I'm going through that first bead that I went through to bring everything together into a circle. And I'm also going through the first bead I added in the second round to step up. Okay, so I'm going through this bead here in my original circle and I'm going through the first bead in the outer round there. Okay, now I've stepped up. Okay, now I'm going to carry on, do the same thing again, but now I've got my bead sticking out here. So that makes it easier to see which is the next bead I need to go through. So picking up an a toe again, and I'm going through this next bead that's sticking out here. Okay. Then I'm picking up an a toe again, going through the next bead that's sticking out. And then here, when you start to pull tight, you'll see after a few beads, let me just add a couple more. Going to that one, then the next one, and you'll see that it will start coming together 
the sides will start to stand up can you see like that so it starts to look a bit more like a tube rather than a flat circle okay pick up the next one one after that So you get all the way around back to the beginning again okay last one okay so now you'll see this was my next sticking out bead this one here okay it's a bit hard to see because it's all in a circle but see that bead is sitting next to that one so this is my this is my next sort of in bead. This is the next one that was sticking out and this is the first one in this current round that I'm doing. Okay, so I'm coming out of this one, going into this one and into the next one to step up again. Okay, like that. So when you put it tight, you see that you've now got a nice little ring of beads like so. Okay. Now, if you have a look from the side, you'll see, counting diagonally, you've got one, two, three, four beads. That means you've done four rows of peyote stitching in this round, because you started with two rows. Don't forget, when you start peyote stitching, you pick up your beads for your first two rows. And I've done another two rows since then, so I've got one, two, three, four. So I've jumped ahead a bit here, and I've done seven rows in the size eight beads. So if you count your beads diagonally, starting with the one that's sticking out, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've done seven rows in the size eight beads. Now I'm going to carry on in exactly the same way, but I'm going to switch to the size 11. Okay, so now I'm just picking up a size 11 bead each time, and I'm going through the next size eight that is sticking out. Just normal peyote stitch again, going all the way around with the size 11s. Okay, and you'll see that this will start pulling it in a little bit, because obviously your beads are now smaller, so your tube will start to get smaller as well. Okay, then when you get to the end, don't forget you need to step up. So I'm going through the last size 8, which is sticking out, and the first 11 that I added, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to do another row of the size 11s, and I'm going to carry on and do a third row in the size 11s. Okay, just pull it tight, because you need to pull it in quite tightly. So you don't have so much thread showing. Can you see it's starting to come in now? So I need to do three rows with the size 11 beads. And then I need to do three rows again with the size 15 beads. So when I've done the three rows with the size 11s, then the same as before, I just switch to the size 15 beads. Okay. Just going to finish this round quickly. Okay, don't forget to step up each time you get to the end of a round. So now this was my last 11 0, which is my in bead. Yeah, it was my, my sticking out bead in the previous round. It's now become an in bead because of the one I did after. So I'm going through that one and the first bead in this round that I'm currently working on to step up to the next round. Okay, I carry on and do a third round and then three rows in the size 15 beads. Okay, now I've done three rows in my size 11 beads and three rows in my size 15 beads. Okay, now when you get to this point, we need to tidy up the end and close it together a little bit because at the moment the hole is still a little bit too big. So now I'm going to do another row of peyote stitching with the 15s, but I'm only going to put a bead in every second space. So 
I've picked up a 15 and I'm going to go through the next 15 that is sticking out as I've been doing until now. Okay. Then I'm not going to add a bead. I'm just going to go through the next one. So I'm missing out a bead. So I'm pulling it all in quite tightly together. So I'm putting a bead into the next one. Then I'm skipping the next one and going into the very next one that's sticking out again. So I'm not putting a bead into the next gap. And then I'm putting a bead into the one after that again. So I'm going through two of the sticking out beads because I'm not putting one. I'm putting one here. I'm not putting a bead into there. So I'm just going straight through the next one. Okay. So up until now, I've had eight beads in each round. Okay. Again, don't forget to step up. So go through the last one in the previous round and the first one that you've added. So up to now you've had eight beads in each round. Now you've skipped every second one, so now you've got only four beads. So you've got your four beads here, one, two, three, four, which are sticking up. Okay. Now you want to bring those in a little bit closer together as well. So now I'm going to pick up the 11s again, and I'm going to go through each of the sticking out 15s. The same as before, just normal peyote, but I'm using the 11s again because the 15s are a little bit too small. And they don't look quite so tidy if you add the 15s. Okay, so it's basically just another row of peyote stitching using the 11s. So you've only got four beads here now. Okay, and again, don't forget to step up. Okay. And then just to pull them in even tighter, I just went through those four 11 O's again. Just a couple of times until it all becomes nice and tight at the end. Okay. Now at this point you can add your crystal. So what I did for that is I picked up four of the of the 15 O's. So pick up one, two, three, four. Okay. Then I pick up my crystal. And then another four of the 15s. So one, two, three, four. Okay. And then I'm coming out of this 11 bead here and my thread is going that way. So now I'm going to go through the opposite one also in sort of that direction. So I'm going diagonally across my hole essentially like so okay then I'm going to go back through the 11 nose back around again to where my little loop is that's holding my crystal and then I can go through the 15s again which are holding the crystal and through the crystal just to have two threads going through the crystal and make sure that your thread isn't going to break and you're going to lose the crystal off the end of it. Okay, and down through the 15s again and then back through the 11s. Okay, now at this point don't cut off your thread just yet. Okay, because you might need it later. You might not. You might have enough on the other end. So just take your needle off the thread, put it onto the thread which is the tail thread, take off your stop bead and then do exactly the same thing again on the other end until you get to this point here where you've got your four 11 nose. Okay, so I've done the other side of my bead now, the same as I did the first side. So I've finished off with the 11 nose and the 15s until I have four of my 11 nose left. Now at this point I just want to show you quickly the difference between the two beads that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So this is the one I'm working on here. That's going to be the same as this one. It's just missing the embellishments. Okay. The other one, the difference with this one is as my, my little tube of PRT stitch is growing, it's growing or getting smaller on the other side because the size of the beads is increasing. I'm using the same number of beads in each round, but the beads are getting bigger. So what I've done with this one is I've increased the size of the beads even more. So I had... In the beginning, I had my 15 O's, then my 11's, then my 8's, which is where I started. So I started with the 8's, and then I finished 
this way, except I only did two rows of each size. So I had, when I picked up my 16 8 o's here, then I went straight on to the 11 o's and I did two rounds of the 11 o's, two rounds of the 15's and I finished off the end. Then I carried on with my tail thread in the opposite direction and then instead of going back to a smaller size again, what I did was, was I increased again the size of the beads. So then I started to use two 11 o's as one bead in my peyote stitching. So every time I, I had to pick up a bead to fill into the gap, I picked up two 11 o's. Okay? I did two rounds like that. Then I did another two rounds where I used a 15, an 8 and a 15 again and treated those as if they were one bead. Okay, so the two rounds of that, then the same again using two eight o's as one bead. You can see the size goes up each time. Okay, then another two rounds using the elevens, the eights, and the elevens, those three as one bead. And then in the middle, I did three rounds because you want there to be a middle one. So that's why you want to do three rounds um, in the in the last size so that you have a central one instead of just the two. Uh, so then I used an 11, sorry, a 15, an 11, an 8, another 11, and another 15. And I treated all of those five beads as if they were one bead. So this was one bead here, which I added between the two sticking out beads in the previous round. And I did three rounds of those, and then I went back smaller and smaller and smaller. And that was that bead finished. Okay, this one has got a bit of embellishing on it still, which I'm going to show you how to do now. Okay, so once you finish the second end of your bead, all I did was I went with my thread, I went through the beads diagonally until I'm coming out with my thread of one of the size 8 o's. If you look at it sideways here, you've got four 8 o's in a row, like so, and you've got three 8 o's in a row next to it. So I'm coming out of one of the, the three, the last one in the three. So I'm coming out of this bead here. Okay, that's where my thread is coming out of, in this direction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up seven of the size 15 beads. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then, can you see you've got this row of three beads here, which is, this is the bead I'm coming out of. I'm going to jump over to the next row of three beads here, and I'm going to go through the bead on the other side of the row in the next row. You'll see in a second what I mean. Can you see? So now I've got a diagonal row of beads, like so. Okay, so now I'm coming out of this bead here. Now I need to pick up seven 15 o's again and go diagonally across to the next one on the other side of the three beads. Okay, so pick up seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then I'm going through this bead here. Okay. Same thing again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm coming out of this bead. So I'm going to the next column of three beads. We're coming out, we're going through the bead at the other end of the three to where I'm coming out from like so. Okay, carry on like that until you go all the way around. Right, so now I'm just adding the last of my seven beads. I've gone all the way around. So now I'm going through the same bead again where I started. Okay, so now I've got, you could leave it like that. It looks quite pretty like that as well. But if you want to do the little crosses that I did, then you just go through the next 8 o bead here, which is next to the one that you're coming out of. And the one after that okay so now in this column of three beads you're coming out of the end bead again but not the end bead that you've already gone through you're coming out of the other other end of the three of the column of three beads okay now what you're going to do you're going to pick up three of your 15s because remember we had seven going on the diagonals so now you need one less than half so I've got three here then you're going to use the middle bead in the seven so that's the fourth bead one two three fourth bead and you're going to share that in your little cross here so you've got three beads on there this is your number four bead 
that you're sharing. Okay, then you're going to pick up the other three. So this is actually bead five, six, and seven. So now you've got seven beads going this way as well. And then you're going through that bead there, which is the third bead in the column again. Okay, then you do the same thing again. So you pick up three of your 15s. Okay, then you find the middle bead here. Make sure you're going in the direction that you're traveling. So that's one, two, three, that's the fourth bead in the middle there. It's the middle bead. So go through that one. Okay, and then you pick up another three again. One, two, three. And then you go through the third bead in the three bead column here. Like so. Okay, and that's how you get your little crosses on there. And then you just carry on all the way around until you've got all your little crosses done. And then you take your thread, you work your way back to this end here, and you're going to add on your bookmark in the same way as you added on your little dangly crystal here. So just pick up four of your 15s, go through your bookmark, pick up another four 15s, and that's it. You've attached your bead to your bookmark. So just to show you the finishing, I've done all my little crosses all the way around. I worked my way through until my thread was coming out of one of the pink 11 O's and then I've done a loop, added it onto the bookmark. Now I can finish off this thread. Now I had enough thread left here to finish this end, so I didn't need the thread on the other end. But if you ran out of this thread somewhere along your working, all you have to do is finish this one off and then pick up this one. You should have had some left on the other end in that case. Work your way through to wherever you finished off with this thread and carry on with that thread. That way you don't have to add any new thread if you run out of this thread. And that's your second beady bead done.